I am documenting a video right now because it is July 23rd and London and I kind of were just texting back and forth for a little bit and he mentioned to me that he ordered Aubrey's ring about a month ago. He should be picking it up this week and last and most importantly he plans on proposing in August which literally is going to be less than a month um which is so exciting um he said he doesn't know for sure what day yet but he's thinking on either August 17th or August 24th I'm really hoping it's the 17th just because I want it to happen so soon um but he said he plans on talking to my parents this week and then me after because Aubrey wants him to talk to me to kind of like ask for my blessing. Um, and so I wanted to kind of document um, this whole process as Aubrey's sister because I know she's going to want something to look back on and I would love to be able to do that for her just because this is so exciting for me watch my older sister go through this it is literally like gives me goosebumps gives me chills I'm so excited I can't even ex begin to explain how stoked I am for this um because I will never forget um the Chez Carnival Aubrey in London volunteered at they were sitting on the concrete blacktop by each other I took a picture of them and I'm still looking for that photo I can't find it but I will um, and I literally asked her if they were together, if she had a crush, if they were crushing whatever, and she told me they were just friends, and look where we are now, um, literally getting engaged, um, but here's my first little clip of this document, this document, no, this, like, series that I'm going to be doing throughout the next month that everything kind of happens maybe even longer leading up to the wedding but here it is guys july 23rd okay it is now july 30th so it's been about a week i think since the initial conversation i had with london about everything um my update for today is that one, Anna and I have now been talking about engagement party details, um, kind of just like who we're inviting, whatnot, things like that. I'm meeting with London tomorrow night or tomorrow afternoon at three-ish, um, I guess for like a formal asking for my blessing. And then probably just talk to him about some details when it comes to the proposal and then the engagement party. Um, just because I'm kind of the person who knows everything that Aubrey wants and we want to make sure it's perfect for her. So I, it's my job to be the messenger and let London know everything that I know. Um, I am literally so excited. It's now down to about a week and a half. No, two and a half weeks until the proposal. And I could not be more excited, more happy. I have already started working on bachelorette party details. Um, all the maid of honor duties. So that is my update for today i will probably do another update tomorrow with london maybe or after i talk to london because i need to figure out how we are going to make sure aubrey find doesn't find out we're together because she has both of our locations so i might be leaving my phone at home if i do i'll do a video update after we meet instead of with him but it would be really cool to get him in these videos anyways that's my update for today and i will talk to you guys with my next update shortly okay guys it's official august 17th what's happening two weeks and like three days Over We're here. on it. Yeah, you're gonna be so impressed. It's gonna. There's fireworks. No. <laughs>
this is going to be the best ever. Yeah. And we're so excited. So, there's our update for today. Okay. Obviously, uh, as you've seen from my last video, um, London and I just met up to kind of talk about everything. Um, and get as much planning, I guess you could say, done. Um, so we have really good ideas. We have really like good plans and we are both, at least I am literally so excited. I cannot be more excited than I am right now. As soon as I get to my house, all I'm gonna be doing is getting things ordered and making sure everything is good because I want this to be absolutely perfect for Aubrey and it will be um so I'm so excited I literally like can't even express my excitement and um Lennon is meeting with my parents right now so I'm really hoping that it goes well obviously it will um but I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Um, I will update you guys when I have any more news. And that's going to be it for today. But yay. We are so excited. Hi, Aubrey's vlog. Can I zoom in on this now? Um, you don't know it, but you're getting engaged in two weeks. And I don't know if you'll make a vlog or not. Maybe you won't. I should not be wearing a marriage material hat when we're talking about your wedding. <laughs> That's awkward. Um, but you don't know it yet. You are getting engaged in two freaking weeks. And I'm so excited for you. Last we talked, you were thinking September. And so this was just the best surprise ever. And you were like, he definitely doesn't have the ring. I would know. Plot twist. Your boy had the ring. He's had it for a while. I remember the day he bought it because he told Dane. So yeah, I'm so excited for you. Basically, it's on the 17th, we're having a party after, and all your friends are gonna be there. It was funny, London made a group chat with everyone and called it Engagement Party. And Anna and I were like, that cannot be the name of that because you're totally gonna see that on someone's phone. So we changed it to Group Hang, which was just funny. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for you. I'll try to take vlogs at your party and before and everyone being excited for you because I think it's really special and I want you to document this. And yeah, I'm not sure what he's gonna do yet, but Anna's been helping him. Your ring is beautiful, and I'm sure it's everything you ever wanted. And this is just a beautiful testament to you in London and God's grace and his provision and just everything that you've gone through individually and also together. And then just committing your relationship to the Lord and just what an awesome change that has made in your guys' life. So I love it. I'm so excited for you. And you don't have to use this. I'm just excited. All right, Aubrey. I've been really bad about making these, but the book that I'm using to propose to you just came in. And if you haven't already read it, I'd be shocked. If you haven't read it already, Sarah J. Moss, Tower of Dawn. I'm sure that's backwards on camera, but you will be able to read that. Chapter 68. Let me know if you remember the words. Page 654. Will you marry me, Rian? Will you be my wife? Of course, your name's not Rian. I'll black that out. But I'm going to black out this entire page except for those few lines. Will you marry me? Will you be my wife? That's how you're going to know. Ah, uh, you're going to know walking up to it, but just came in so part of one of your part of your favorite series uh, Sarah J Moss I think you're gonna really like this I'm excited it's it's almost it's only a week away so exciting all right it is currently August 10th which is a week prior to when you will be getting engaged and I don't really have any updates um, 
for the actual thing itself, today's update is kind of just the fact that it's a week away. Um, London's plan for the proposal is the sweetest thing ever, and I am so excited to hear it come from you, and I can't wait to hear all about it. Um, but I am literally so excited. Everything is pretty much like ordered. Everything that needs to be ordered is ordered. Everything that needs to be done is done. So now it's just like the actual proposal itself that needs to happen. And then you will become a wife. Well, a fiance first, but then a wife. Um, so yeah, that's my update today. Um, I don't know that anything else exciting will be happening up until the day. But I wanted to throw in another little update. So, here we are. Okay. It is currently Wednesday the 14th. Three days before you get engaged. Um, right now I'm headed to Lawrence to go take London all the supplies that I have. That he's going to use. Um, so, I have... A blanket and then like three pillows that he's gonna use for the setup and then grandma Linda bought him a picnic basket to use so I also have that um, you were pestering me about my location yesterday which I pretended like I didn't know was off um, I did turn it off in London and I met up um, a couple weeks ago but you were pestering me about putting it back on and so I had to come up with a excuse of why I'm going to be in Lawrence today and then I'm going to coincidentally go to London's Walgreens because he ended up having to work today. Um, so I told you that I was going to Home Goods, which I'm not. But anyway... That's my update for today. Um, the banner, I got a picture of the banner and it looks absolutely gorgeous. It's perfect. Um, and I'll go pick that up tomorrow. I'll show you kind of what that looks like. And then Friday, Ella and I are going to stay the night at your house for what you think is just a sister sleepover, which it is. But it's really so that we can get you ready for your proposal and kind of just spend the day as sisters because um, I think that's really going to be super special. So anyway, that is my update for today and I will get back to you when I have more. Okay, so it, it, it is Wednesday, um, so it's three days out from the proposal um i just got the ring box i think i want now it needs a little bit of crafting i think you'll love the box like it's right up the alley look at this is that just not so you so aubrey it's a little porcelain jewelry box but it's got nowhere for me to comfortably set the ring so i bought some foam i'm gonna put in there glue it up cut it to the exact width set the ring in um and then i'll have to worry about not breaking this or dropping it in the water which you'll hopefully which you'll hopefully love um got a little chips on it already but i think that adds to its its vintage uh style um i think you're gonna really love this i i couldn't uh video record uh when i got it because we were hanging out uh pretty soon after and i had to lie to you about working extra long uh, so i could go pick this up and get the materials to do it uh, Gracie also uh, brought some stuff for the picnic, um, the picnic basket, the blankets, the throw pillows, um, 
brought that uh, today as well at work and I had to go put this up so you wouldn't see it. So sorry for lying, um, but hopefully, hopefully you'll forgive me um, and hopefully you'll like it. Hello folks, Aubrey. <laughs> I uh, just did my little arts and crafts. I got my uh, utility knife and I have my styrofoam. See that circular shape? That is the foam. So I've converted this empty porcelain container and I have placed a foam in it. Yes, I have. Uh, it's, I glued it in there and the glue is currently drying. I'm gonna leave it for a full day before I make the little uh, cut in there that I need to do um, because the ring is gonna sit right in there and this will be right on top. And that will be your makeshift ring box, just for you. Uh, I'm gonna tape this up. So does it, see how it click, click, clack? I need you to not know it's gonna click, clack. So I'm gonna tape it up. That's gonna be right there, all the way. shall see I'm two days away Aubrey and you have no idea so this is gonna be either awesome or we'll see okay everybody or Aubrey if you're I don't really know who all is gonna watch it so anyway it is officially the 16th which is the day before um I am literally like so excited. I don't think I've ever been more excited for something than I am about this. Um, my updates for today are going to be, I picked up, I'm not going to get it. I picked up the banner and then I picked up the cookies yesterday. The cookies are at my house. Landon's going to bring them to the party tomorrow just because I didn't want them to stay in my car all day while I'm at the salon. Um, another update, I'm so upset, London and I FaceTime yesterday because he was like showing me the setup and like getting my approval and I screen recorded it and it did not save and I'm so upset because it was so stinking cute, like London was practicing getting down on one knee, it was literally the cutest thing ever. But unfortunately, it did not save. So, I'm very sad about it. Um, but, and he was also working on, he got this cute little um, antique dish um, that he's going to, he's <laughs> cutting styrofoam out and putting it in to use, like, to hold the ring. And he was working on that on FaceTime last night. So, I'm so upset that that didn't save because there were so many cute things in there um but I tried and yeah I'm literally just so excited I it's been so fun to like help Lennon put this together and come up with a plan but I am so 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 the most excited to hear it come from you like how it actually played out and how it was from your point of view um, and yeah, that's my update for right now. I probably will do a couple more videos today because I'm going to record with Ella when I pick her up and we're going to go to your house. And then I might try to sneak in some clips with you without you knowing. Um, but yeah, that is my update for now. I am working today. And then I will be over to your house for our, it actually is a sister sleepover, but the main purpose of it was just to like spend one last night as sisters before you start your journey as a fiance slash wife. So Ella and I are so excited. I think everyone that knows that this is happening is truly just so stoked. And I don't think anyone could be more happy for you in London 
than we already are. So, yay! Anyway, that's it for now, and I will catch you on my next clip. Okay, guys, we're heading to Aubrey's house right now. Yes, we are headed for a sister sleepover, and then I've kind of already said how we're getting her ready without her knowing, but we have a patio set in the back for her and then everything that we're hiding from her that's for the party is in my trunk right now so we're hoping that she doesn't look in there I don't but, know why she would yeah that's an update for now and we'll update you guys when we have more news you can get me the warm right now <laughs> <laughs> presents you were mine Philippians 2, 9 through 11 says, Therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Lord is to the glory of God the Father. And then Psalm 29, 11 says, The Lord gives strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with peace. And then the last verse is Isaiah 43, 1. But now this is what the Lord says. He who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you. O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. Hey guys, I'm a TikTok influencer now. I feel like I shouldn't ask you this, so I'm not going to look. Has Lemon talked to you? No. He hasn't. And I know he has not talked to mom and dad either. Really? Yeah. Why? I don't know. Are you like getting stressed? A little bit. Like because of the timeline? Yeah. I don't really understand that. Because you guys want to get married in May, don't you? Yes. Or that's what we had talked about, but no. I don't think that's going to happen. All my dresses are right there. This one? The white one? Oh, let me see it on. This one is really pretty. I can see it on you and it looks gorgeous in my head. This is one I got in Europe, actually. I really like it's it. Slay, we got it for the queen. <laughs> uh, we can call her Queen Elizabeth. Elizabeth. <laughs> oh, sorry. I need to put on you. Me too. Can I actually go get my from my bathroom because I need to put it on before. Sorry, I guess I should have checked. Oh, I shouldn't have my butt in front of the... Probably not. In one of the brown things. On the shelf? On the second shelf. Who's Michelle? Hmm? The girl that I might have babies for. Gee. <laughs> Who's Michelle? Hmm? Hmm? Plus, I think this would tie in very nicely with Ella and I's. What is Ella wearing? A blue dress? 
that's like I think I'm gonna wear my blue dress because I just feel like we all should wear dress looking things. Yes. I'm gonna need you to give me 12 of them. <laughs> I forgot about this dress. Dress actually. reveal. It's a mess. It's super cute. I forgot about this. That's so cute. Oh, I love it. Can you see my underwear? Yeah. I think you can. Let go. You can. Not really like this, but when you are like this, I can see it. Do you think it's okay? I feel like it is. Okay. I think it's too cute to pass up to you. Yeah. I feel like the only shoes I can wear are these ones. I would wear my ballet flats, but they're black and that doesn't, that look weird. Oh, that's cute. Or I don't really want to wear heels. The white heels would look cute. But I don't want to wear those. I think you should do this. The blanket. Slides. Cute. Ew. Sorry. You can engage in just three hours. <laughs> Surprise. Okay, guys, we're upstairs. Aubrey and Anna are downstairs. Aubrey has no idea. She's like completely clueless. I think she has an idea. No, I think she has an idea. I don't think she has any clue. Um, yeah, she does. Ella thinks she has an idea, but I was talking to her this morning and she was clueless. But anyway, so excited and it is currently what time is it it's 2 25 we're supposed to leave in like five minutes and london is picking her up at three so i'm trying to get aubrey up here to let me touch up her hair so that's perfect but anyway that's our update for now Okay. Practice. Okay. Um, I'm vlogging for her. Say hi to the vlog. What's up, vlog? Okay. This is a throwback. Uh, freshman year when you do your vlogs. Uh, just want you to go back and see those and you in London, how you guys are interacting to today. Uh, God's done a lot I'm of cool things. I'm actually balling. Oh, okay, yes, yes. And this is good. I've known the bride and the groom for almost 10 years. I'm like 20, so yeah, we're really close to this day. Are you guys going to kiss? Okay, I'm going to go through here just to see everyone in the vlog going. Okay, the vlog's coming! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I can do this. Vlog team. They set up a picnic for us. Who set up a picnic? I I well, I mean, the people. The people who got the canoe? Oh, it's, oh, my love, that must be you. <laughs> Read it. Read it.
Oh my gosh, I'm anxious. I could be recording for a while. Right? I feel like I didn't know. That was a prank. Oh my god! Me and Dan were like, Okay, wait, no. I'll squeeze it as hard as I can. Oh my god, it's not hard. Wait, wait, yeah, you gotta let me know. I'm trying not to get Dane's hand in there, but I just don't have any way. This smells bad. It's crazy, she's going to be so proud we kept a secret. <laughs> <laughs> They did not pop it, unfortunately.
jaw first, and then you'll have to pull the cork out. But hold the top of the cork when you do it. Yeah, keep it. Okay. And then just pull it up. Yeah, push it up. Fantastic job putting the party out, and we never gave anything away. We had no idea. Oh. So she was clueless, right? You're I was clueless, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Either any of them were, yeah. 